two, three. Stop! The establishment were absolutely shocked uh, with the Brexit result. I don't think anybody expected it. And basically, I think in the last three years, uh, they've been attempting to overturn that result. For all of the United States states to be separate, it was more efficient to have one federal USA. Talked about what Brexit was going to mean for everybody. Nobody knew, I didn't know, nobody knew. Now we all know, everybody's saying, oh, but it was the will of the people, but I don't say that. People didn't know what it meant three years ago. Now we do know, and we need to have another referendum. Well, Brexit is a good thing, and let's make it clear, Brexit isn't leaving Europe, it's leaving the EU and the institutions of the EU, because we, the majority of the British voters, feel that on the whole, it's the EU is no longer fit for purpose, because it is no longer democratically accountable. No democracy in the UK. for leaving Europe were not really good reasons. A lot of people were frightened of all the people who came into our country and they wanted to stop them coming. They thought that they had taken away their homes, their jobs, everything. When in fact they haven't. They were doing the jobs very often that the English people don't want to do. Immigration, we've got to close the doors, we're full up, we've got no more space, we are really full up. Um, I'm not saying the ones that are here to go back or anything like that, but that's one of, another reason. So I feel really passionately European, that's my identity, I don't feel English, I feel European first and foremost. Brexit is about ripping me of my identity and ripping me of my rights. It allows me to take control of the laws, the borders and the money. And it allows me to open myself up to a world of trade across the world, not just from Europe. Brexit alla basura, por favor! All our nearest trading partners are Europe. 40% of our trade is done with the European Union. At the moment we have free trade because we're in the European Union. We would lose all that. We try to do trade deals with other countries outside the European Union, like the United States. We will have to accept lower food standards. We we'll have to the, the, the classic chlorinated chickens. We would have to have that kind of thing. And all this this business that people say, oh, we'll be able to do deals with other countries. No, we wouldn't. At least not and maintain the standards and the quality of food that we have now. I tell you, the EU has lots of regulations, but the EU has regulations for very good reasons to preserve the environment, to, to preserve food standards, to preserve standards of living. And I think that, that is something that is well worth fighting for, and that's why we need to remain, Britain needs to remain in the European Union. The reason the British people voted for Brexit are manyfold, but there's a reason why the core vote for Brexit came from the indigenous working class British and that's because the working class British felt that it's not working for them and one particular aspect of the, being a member of the, the EU wasn't working for them. The EU when we joined it was a trading bloc just like every other international trading bloc. It was a good thing to join but unlike any other international trading bloc the EU alone insists on the free movement of people between the member states. No other trading bloc, the North Atlantic Treaty or the South Pacific 
coast. None of them. None of none of them have free movement of people as a prerequisite of membership. Only the EU, and that's because the EU changed from being a, merely a economic union to becoming a superpower. It is we who plow the prairies, built the cities where they trade. What shall we do with Boris Johnson? What shall we do with Boris Johnson? What shall we do with Boris Johnson? Boris Johnson? Boris Johnson? In the morning, stick him on a bus with a lie detector. Stick him on a bus with a lie detector. Stick him on a bus with a lie detector. Lie in the morning, with Nigel Farage. Lie in the morning. Me, I want to take out back our laws, you know, about our borders and our money, our, all our finance. We want to take it all back, all, all the control of it. Shove your Brexit up for us! Yeah, well, I'm very disappointed that uh, the United Kingdom is leaving the European Union. I'm Irish, and we have a longer and closer relationship with England than any other nation in the European Union. Winston Churchill was in full support of the European Union, and it's sad, it's sad that people like Boris Johnson, who is the leader now of, the, of Churchill's uh, Tory party, should completely change his attitude. And even uh, Churchill's grandson, uh, Nicholas Soule, uh, a former uh, Tory MP, he completely disagrees with Boris Johnson. And he, he has stated that he wants the United Kingdom to remain in the European Union. It's a Brexit. It's an absolute disaster for our country. We've got a Prime Minister who's a liar, a cheat, a charlatan. He lied to the nation as head of vote leave, and he's lying to the nation as Prime Minister. So we call him Brexit Johnson now. He's not fit to be in public office. So we're here now every Wednesday, PMQ Day, we're going to hold this government to account. And as Brexit collapses, we're going to show them for the liars that they were. A long time ago, when my granddad were younger, I think a lot of like the crimes and things, like the crime rates, weren't as high as what they are now. Bye bye, 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 back in Britain. Way. When that reaches 11 o'clock, no more Europe, no more. You can do this, you can do that. You can't. No, you can't do this. Our rules, our country. Oh, Brexit. Oh, A lot of other countries will follow, so and that's my, my take on it. I think Brexit is shit. There's a reason the core of the Leave vote is made up by the indigenous working class of the United Kingdom and that's because they felt on balance being a member of the EU no longer works for them. Mass cheap labour immigration doesn't work for them. They've seen their schools overrun, they've seen their house housing costs go up, they've seen their wages suppressed, they've seen the police in their areas overrun that can't answer calls, they've seen their, their hospitals at breaking point, they can't get their parents into hospitals, their children into schools, and on balance they feel that mass cheap labour immigration on the scale that we 
had over the last few decades, and we're talking about 700,000 a year, that's the true figure. Look at the statistics of how many new national insurance numbers are issued to non-residents, and last year it was 709,000 new national insurance numbers were issued. On balance, the British working class, indigenous working class, decided that the EU is no longer fit for purpose, for their purpose, and that's why they decided to leave.